Spain. Spain, 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 Spain. What a actual race that you've given us for once this season. Um, it was quite a good race, I thought, to be honest. Um, Hamilton on pole position, uh, he seemed to do... Had a decent lap time in qualifying, which was a fair bloody play to him. Um, and uh, coming to the race, he started on pole with um, Vettel second, Bottas third. Um, yeah, it was a good race, I thought. Um, good start, I thought, by um, Vettel regarding his second uh, phase of the launch. Um, he um, got past Lewis quite well, quite comfortably as well, that I thought. Um, Pitts... Yes, it was quite a good race actually to be honest. Um quite excited to go through definitely. Um obviously towards the end of it it was quite good as well with um him and Vettel was only three point four seconds ahead of each other, which was uh, quite a close one with um Ricardo over a full minute behind, which obviously shows the pace between the Mercedes and the uh, Ferrari which Obviously, you can tell it's going to be very close between these two this season. Obviously, we've shown it. It's obviously been shown completely. Um, going from the start of the race, um, quite a good race to start, I thought. Um, Verstappen and Raikkonen hit, got hit by Bottas, which was uh, a bit of a shame, to be honest, because I would have expected a decent start from both of them but uh, obviously I would like to see him in the race but fortunately first corner which is uh, to be honest, a bit shit out of them to be honest um, and a shame about that little lad that was also crying when he saw his favourite dri- driver being taken out which was a bit of a shame by uh, Bottas which was a bit of a shame um, he unfortunately Bottas unfortunately did not finish due to an an engine failure, which uh, obviously there was quite a bit of flame coming out of it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, um, let's go through the rest of the line. Um, uh, finish standings, um, Perez fourth and Ocon fifth, to be honest. That looked pretty good out of both of the fourth Indias. Um, seem to be doing quite well, don't they, really, the uh, fourth Indias? Um I would definitely take that. They seem to be quite happy with that, so why not? Let's go for it. Um, Hulkenberg 6th. Verline, to be honest, should have been driver of the day. Finished in 7th in the Sauber. 7th in the Sauber. To be honest, that is a very good achievement for the Sauber team. See, they've had a pretty crap... They had obviously a quite crap 2016 where they were mainly towards the back as well as 2015, but, um, obviously nearly going out of business, which was, which would have been sad to see, but uh, not bad for 25 years worth in 4 and one to be honest. Um, Science 8th, Kvyat 9th, Grosjean 10th. That rounds out the uh, top 10 with um, Ericsson, Alonso, Massa, who, um, fun that, I never thought though these words were coming out of my mouth, that um, a Honda engine managed to overtake a Mercedes engine that is uh, obviously that should bring some kind of hope and confidence into him but uh, to see what they can do um, Honda which obviously they need to really put the upgrades in ASAP which was their what 120 horsepower down on the Mercedes and Ferrari which um, with upgrades I could see them Definitely within the points in the next few races, which uh, I'm not being funny about bloody signs to be honest, because um, this partnership has been nothing short of embarrassing, as I say, as a Formula One fan, it's been nothing short of embarrassing. Uh, Magnussen 14th, Palmer 15th, Shh, no surprise there. Two laps down from 11th, 11th, two laps, and Ricardo was very close, obviously, to getting lapped by both. Hamilton and Vettel, it just shows, obviously, what they can do, nothing. But um, pit stops, it seemed to be uh, close. Um, they say that the soft tyre was obviously the best out of, t- out of the three compounds that were chosen today. Uh, I don't know, really. It's like mediums. There was quite a noticeable point 
um, performance gap regards in between the soft and the medium tyre, which seems to be like nearly a s- couple of tenths of a second, to be honest, which um, yeah, is uh, be quite good. Race, obviously, next up is Monaco, which uh, I don't know really what I think of that. Monaco, really, again, I don't know. It seems to be one of those tracks like, eh, people say it's like, oh, it's iconic, but I, I just, to be honest, I just think it's like a crap. I don't think it's that good. Of a track, so it's just, they say it's like all the glitzy and the glamour, but it's just like, yeah. You know, like one of those things like, where you, where you just don't want to go to, like, I don't know really, but, oh well. Obviously we'll go back, we'll see Monaco, see what that brings up. I would thought, I would probably give that race Seven, eight out of ten. It, it, it. I'd say it's classic. It was a quite a classic race, obviously between the front two. But yeah, obviously we'll see what happens next in Monaco. This is James Botham, and this is the Finish Line podcast. Thank you very much for listening, and goodbye.